Welcome back to Vora's Physical Media Rant. I'm Vanessa and he's Charles. Don't forget to like our video. It lets us know that you actually like the content that we are putting out. It also helps YouTube algorithm get more of our videos out there for people like you and people like us. Don't forget to comment down below and keep subscribing. Welcome back to another video we have to put up with our shit. Yes. But, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> This is basically uh, what movies we're going to be watching in the month of August, but it's pretty much going to be horror for the next three months. So That's about normal for the most for us. part, uh, there will be some action and drama and stuff in there. Mm. Review copies mm. in there, also movie reviews we have to do. But uh, anything in August is going to be rolling to September, and then we're going to be getting it. We're yes. going to knock it out. We're going to try to do our best to get all these done. Plus, review copies coming in any day. Mm -hmm. You never know when they're coming. So exactly. We get them in, we watch them, we do reviews for you guys. But this is what we plan on watching in the month of August. So, first movie we have not seen yet. And yes, mm -hmm. they did announce the second one. I think it looks dumb as hell. Mm -hmm. But hopefully the first one's better than what the second one was. But uh, we'll be finding out one more. Yes. But it is certified uh, fresh. But uh, you can never trust... Uh, no. No. Rotten Tomatoes. No. Mm -hmm. May attack of the killer tomatoes, but not rotten tomatoes. <laughs> but smile. Here's the front. And here's the back. Are we doing discard too? No discard. But that's normal. <laughs> we'll do that at the end of when uh, we discuss. Okay. But uh, next is the Shutter exclusive, George A. Romero. Amusement park. And here's the back. I've never seen this one either. Next up is The Cage. We will be watching this and doing a review on this. Mm -hmm. Arcadian. Got a really nice slip with it. Next up, we haven't seen this movie, but we picked up the 4K, so we're going to be watching it. So yes. Black Phone. The 4K did not have a slip on it, so we kept the Blu-ray slip to go over the 4K. Mm -hmm. Next up, we will be watching and doing a review on this movie. Mm -hmm. And it's starring Kim Basinger, Bless the Child. And, the back. and yes, this is a Scream Factory title. Next one is a Shutter movies. Yes, we do have a lot of Screen Factory and Shutter movies that we're going to be watching uh, over the next couple of months. Yes. But this one sounded really cool, so I'm like, I'm going to pick it up. Maybe it costs like eight or nine bucks. Mm -hmm. But uh, Z wants to play. I wonder if it's kind of like the Come Play. Come Play. That was actually really good. Mm -hmm. Next up is uh, Anthony Perkins. We will be checking out Edge of Sanity. Next up, courtesy of Shout Scream, mm -hmm. and we will be doing a review on this, yes. Yes. Because The Haunting. The 4K of The Haunting. And here's your back. The next one I cannot wait to do a review on. I freaking love this movie. Mm -hmm. This movie was a movie back in the day. It takes place in West Virginia. Mm. No, it doesn't have inbreeding in it. No. But it happens anywhere nowadays. Though. The Mothman Prophecies. Yes. There is actually a town where this is obviously based off of from the Mothman. And they have like this big, it's a big old huge thing. Mothman is a big thing in the town. They have everything. Mothman pancakes, Mothman pizza, Mothman ice cream. But they also have a whole, like I don't want to say studio, but a whole thing that you can go in and where it talks about Mothman and whatnot. And they actually have stuff from this movie in there that you can actually see and see the cameras they used and all that type of stuff. It's really awesome. Hmm. Next movie we'll be checking out is The Criterion. Mm -hmm. Starring Nicole Kidman and the others. And here's the back. Took us a while to get that one in 4K. Yeah. Next up is the movie Paramount Pet Cemetery Bloodlines. This is the only one we have not seen yet. Next up is a uh, cool looking, I guess, media book. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Stigmata. We decided to go with the media book instead of the simple Blu-ray, but it's very awesome. And if you watched our haul, 
Mm-hmm. You know, we just picked up, we talked up about this movie. We will be watching this one too. George yes. A. Romero's Bruiser. Bruiser. And of course, if you just recently watched her horror, another movie, The Ruins. And here's the back. And her hall, also the first <laughs> omen. And here's the back. And this one here, we will have a link bottom left or anywhere on the screen. Somewhere on this screen. Yeah. <laughs> screen factory review, obviously, of uh, session nine. And here's the back. And next up would be uh, the Lawnmower Man collection. We will be watching those also. Yes. This is from 101 Films. And we will be doing a review on that entire set. Yes. So, look forward to that. And here's another review that we will be reviewing. And this is a uh, another movie from uh, Scream. Scream Factory. Scream Factory Shout. But uh, Brotherhood of the Wolf. And then here's the back. And this is the movie about the... Uh, I'd say the people from New York, but <laughs> but uh, it's from Keno Lower, the Boogans. Yes, I'm excited to watch this. Yes. The previews looked really good. MVD will be checking out Brad Pitt, younger age, cutting class. Yes, this is a horror movie. Yes, and it is number four in the Laser Vision collection and number fifty-six in the MVD Rewind collection. Next up, we will be visiting Immaculate. They're in Sydney Sweeney. Yes, I'm excited for that. Next up is another imprint film I am very excited to watch. I watched this back in the day. Tim Robbins, uh, Jacob's Ladder. She's never seen it. I have never seen it. And we finally get to see this, but I guarantee as soon as we watch this, it'll be a 4K announcement because Probably. it's coming from Universal. And this is a hit and miss movie. Some people like it, some people don't. So we're going to base our opinion on it. Uh, yep. Last Voyage of the Demeter. I'm excited. Yeah. Because I definitely like origin stories of vampire movies. Next up is uh, another movie from RLJE. It's the IF IFC Shutter. Mm -hmm. Stop motion. I heard this is very demented. That's all right. Yep. And there's the back. Next is the movie... Well, this could take place in California, Tales from the Dark Side, but uh, Tales from the Dark Side, the movie. And we will be doing a review on this because it's Scream Factor. Yes, and here's the back. Next up is a uh, title I was excited until I got it in from Amazon and my slipcover was damaged. You know how Amazon rolls. They don't like to yeah. replace stuff too much, but uh, Five Nights at Freddy's, we're going to finally check it out. Yep, there's our damage. Yeah. So sad. And we know Kino Lorber title, the Clyde Barker film. It's part of their Kino Cult line. Yes. Which is number five. Underworld. And we'll be checking out another Shutter film, like I said. <laughs> lots of Shutter and lots yes. of Scream Factory. VHS 85. These are always good. And another movie that we just recently watched mm -hmm. we will be checking this uh checking out too let alone uh doing a review on this yeah, because so it's stay a, tuned for that yes it is coming very soon but uh deadly blessing and here's the back and that's what we plan on watching in the month of august unless we get too scared and we just start watching disney movies. well that, that's very scary <laughs> Normally, when it comes to horror, we normally, we bust through horror movies like they're going out of style. But, uh, we really do. We wanted to, uh... Do ones that we haven't seen. Yeah, that's what what we're doing. I mean, mm -hmm. the reviews, obviously, some of them I've seen, but yep. we, we want to do reviews on it. So, uh, there is another one there that we have to do. We have another one. Technically a trilogy. Yes, technically it is a trilogy. And we did start this already. We do. do a review and on we one. will be doing a review on this as well. And it is It's Alive! The Trilogy. <laughs> I'm super excited because look at that thing. <laughs> that looks like most kids nowadays. <laughs> That's all three of them. Yes, all three. 
which is It's Alive, It's Alive 2, and Island of the Alive. Mm -hmm. That one takes place at the border, doesn't it? If not, it should. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, we like to throw uh, insults and jokes in there here now and then. But that's why you love us. Yeah. If it offends you, we apologize, but we like to joke and uh, goof off on this channel. Mm -hmm. We don't cater to everybody, but we try mm -hmm. to cater the most. Yes. But this is the way we are, and this is what we're bringing to the table, so. And you obviously like us because yes. you keep subscribing, so yes. good job. But, uh. We actually watched this the other night. Yes, we did. I freaking enjoyed the shit out of this movie. I didn't we think it was going to be worth a shit because uh, Blumhouse is so hit and miss. One minute they got a good movie, and the next movie we watch is dumb as hell. Yeah, we actually said that when this yeah. first came out to physical media. We're like, well, we I don't know. Get, I wasn't going to get it. Yeah, we even said, we're like, we're probably not going to get this. Looks like dumb, dumb as hell. Like, you know, and we ended up loving it. Yeah, and... Imaginary. With a killer bear. If you have not seen this, you need to watch this. It's actually pretty good. I yeah. really enjoyed it. It was really good. I didn't good. think I was good. I'm like, oh my God, here, this is going to be stupid. But uh, of course, a lot of people like Megan, and I thought that movie was just stupid. Yeah, it, we didn't like that. That was Megan. dumb as shit. I was going to try to give it another watch, but I'm like, no, I'm getting rid of it. Yeah, so we got like, rid of it. I just did not like it. I love Jane Wan, but. What he was, he must have been on some type of drug when he was filming that movie. Well, he was also portraying like this generation. I know, but that's why it sucked. You I'm sorry when you ha when you got a doll that is out killing people. That's Chucky. Yeah, period. You <laughs> cannot you cannot uh, mess with that. Mm -mm. Chucky would slaughter that dumb bitch. What's yeah. She, what's she gonna do? <laughs> Dance in front of Chucky, and Chucky's gonna bend her over, fuck her, and then kill her. Yeah, he would literally. probably just rip her head off. Yeah, I mean, literally. I <laughs> and mean, stab her in the eyeball. <laughs> the movies they make nowadays is just... That is the video we're actually going to be doing. Mm -hmm. The difference between movies when we were growing up and the movies till today, the different standards and why they keep remaking movies. Mm 